Hello and welcome back to the assignments. So I will create quickly a frame called chip frame and a panel called chip panel. I will extend my chip frame from G frame and add a constructor because we will be using that. I will set its preferred dimensions to a new dimension of 640 times 320 and we'll import everything Polar chip frame I will pack that and now I will reset the preferred size to a new dimension of 640 plus get incest left plus get incest right. I will be doing this so or few is the full three uh, six six hundred forty pixels wide and not including the borders in those six forty pixels which is not too happy if this gets used because the screen is already a bit small and if it becomes even more smaller it will get a couple of pixels cut off and I don't want that to happen so in our chip we will be using the chip panel the chip panel will be extending from the panel so we can add it and uh, easily add it to the frame so I will create a new instance of the panel and I will add it to the frame at a border, uh, border layout dot center. I will also define the layout manager to a border layout so we can center it easily. <laughs> I will pack it and then I will make it visible. So what basically happens at the back, it is it will comp uh, create, cause the window to update and fit all elements in the, um, the viewport. If it's too small, it will extend itself, but if it's too large, it will check the preferred size or just shrink to the minimum. And it will also define the incest, and not before any of that is done, it will be a bit smaller because the borders of the window itself are also calculated in the preferred size and I will fix that with the incest. I will add the border layout or the layout manager border layout so I can uh, fill my entire window with the chip panel. The chip panel will be very simplistic. It will it wants a reference to the chip called uh, which will be private chip 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 so this chip is chip I'm using control shift O to automatically organize my imports so I don't have to bother about it I will override uh, wait, this is not C sharp. I don't need to be that bitchy about how I overwrite stuff. Called paint. I know I should use paint component, but heck, I don't like it. And now I will add a getter to the chip. So I can actually get my uh, bu uh, graphic or display buffer. It will only return the display and I don't need anything more. The chip, uh, I will also add a uh, chip to the frame so I can send it. So what we want to do during the render is I will copy, or create a reference, no, I will copy the values of the display into the chip itself or into the panel.
itself. Then I will loop through the entire array and I will set the I will set the color correctly to the value of it. So if display i equals zero, it will be set. It has to be black. Uh, otherwise, it will be white. And now we want to calculate our coordinates of the pixel. So and integer x will be the rem uh, remainder of... Uh, wait, let me do y. y coordinate is basically y divided over 64 floored. We have 64 pixels with... so for each if we hit pixel 65, it is the first pixel on the second row. So that's why it is y over 64 floored. We won't want to seal it because we will get every row shifted one up or physically one down. So what y or x basically does is it will take the remainder of y over 64, which will, I will use the modular sign, which will give, give me the remainder of it, and I will multiply that by 10 eventually, but I won't do that now. So to draw it, I will fill a rectangle at position x times 10 and y times 10 as I upscale everything 10 times. And this will basically be my entire uh, program to render everything, ev everything out. I will remove this little piece of... I'll comment it out for a second. Uh, no, I can use it. So I will create a new chip frame, frame, and I will give the chip frame the instance of chip. And if it's correctly now, it will show me a whole black screen. And if I would extend it, it will not do anything. So this is exactly what we want. And if I would say I modify the code, so display dot. 0 equals 1 and display 5 equals 1 display 96 equals 1 I will get a couple of white spots in here and this verifies that our code works but as you can see the coding is not stopping itself from execution Oh, I will stop the old one. So, to fix that, I will add default operate uh, set default close operation to exit on close. I will also add a little title chip 8, not 9, chip 8 emulator. And this is our fully working display of the chip 8 emulator. It wasn't all that hard. I won't bother about sound right now because we won't use it for quite some time in coding. And that's it. I will upload a new fi part as soon as I can and with it on a semi regular base. So it will probably be, be next Thursday evening or no. It will be on Friday and I will upload the assignment on this assignment on Sunday. So that concludes our code, co or assignment. I hope I didn't explain too quickly because I don't really think it's that hard 
to code this. The hardest part is to make this these two calculations, but they're not that hard to be honest. So if you have any questions, leave a comment and I will see you guys in the next uh, episode.